Education Report is made possible by Indiana Learns. Wish TV is your education station. A fight is brewing at the State House over how your tax dollars are divided among schools. Senate Democrats argue a school voucher expansion will drain funding away from traditional public schools. News 8's government reporter Garrett Burkquist breaks down their argument. The budget that passed the House includes almost $2 billion in new funding for K-12 education. But Democrats say much of that funding is dedicated to a small sliver of students. Democrats chiefly are upset by a planned expansion of school voucher eligibility. About $500 million are earmarked for it. They'd rather send the money to traditional public schools. We are taking public dollars. We're funneling them to private schools that do not have the accountability, that do not have transparency, that do not have elected school boards, and that can discriminate against children. It's a problem. Democrats also say the budget forces school corporations to cover the cost of textbooks out of their own pockets rather than the state funding them. That's part of the elimination of textbook fees. The budget still has a long way to go. Senate President Pro Tem Rod Bray suggests the Senate might dial back some of the House's proposals. They've added a lot of money to the K-12 budget, but uh, some of that is whittled down as to what actually goes to, the, uh, to our traditional public schools because of the way they structured it. Uh, we're, so that's why we're taking a look at it. House Republicans say their plan allows families to find an education that best fits their child's needs. But Democrats say the price is too high. Indianapolis Public Schools, for example, would get nearly $2 million less in 2025 than in 2024. What that looks like is the ability to hire enough special education assistants to work with students in small groups. What that looks like is to have enough translation support for our English language learners when parents come in for conferences and for meetings, which we are federally required to do, but often don't have the funds to do it in the way that it should be done. What that looks like is providing enough supports for students for before and after school programming for their tutoring that needs to happen. The Senate has yet to release its version of the budget. Bray says he doesn't yet have an estimate for when that might happen. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.